Resetting the boost pumps. After a power outage, this system here will lock out. You can tell we're beside the main water tank. Here's our three boost pumps here, and here's the control system. Now, <coughs> the thing to remember is that this is not locked out because of the power cut, it's locked out because it thinks it's had a leak. So what this does is if it can't feel any back pressure, so if it can't feel that there's actually, it's pushing against something, it thinks there's a leak in the system and it shuts down. So after, um, after there's been a power outage, everyone switches on the taps, it empties the system, when the power comes back on again, this runs for a few minutes and thinks, uh-oh, I've got a leak. So okay, this is normal operating conditions, okay? So she's sitting around 2.7 bar, all those are running on auto, which is very important, and then you can see the different pumps running, okay? There's running, so there's running, and there's tripped, okay? So what we need to do is we need to convince this to restart once it's, um, once it's locked out. Now, what you're going to find is that you can go and you can reset here. Now, don't worry about any of the settings in here because these obviously are mainly factory set and we don't need to go into them. But you can also go and put these in hand to boost it through. But you do not want to leave any of these in hand because hand means pump running continuously and not um, and not sensing pressure so you'll go over pressure so basically what happens is that this monitors the pressure in the system and it sends a signal to these pumps to say how fast to run so you see on the back here this one here excuse the finger this one on the back here is running at a very low level and it is supplementing this one over here which is running high level. Now, to convince this to restart, it takes quite a while, because what you need to do is you'll need to reset the alarms if they're showing. You will need to, usually, what you will need to do is all these will be setting, sitting to trip. So, you can usually reset from here, switching on and off will restart it from its primary position. But what will happen is when you set it, when you switch off and switch on again, which is just here, off and on, when you switch on again, what it's going to do is it's going to run for its three minutes and it's going to try and lock out again. What you can do is you can run it up to tech, you can run it up to pressure by, you can, or you can help run it up to pressure by putting one in hand. You see very quickly that's gone over the pressure we want now. Because um, obviously the system's running correctly at the moment. And essentially the best, usually the best way to do it is to cycle it on and off. So what you're doing is you're pressurizing the system as far as it's willing to let you until it goes, uh oh, I've got a leak. You're then restarting and it's starting the process again. As soon as it can see a couple of bar pressure or a bar pressure coming back from its, you know, from the piping, it will start to um, it will start to kick in properly. You only know that you're back in a correct position when the pumps start to cycle. And by that, I mean you see here how they're starting to come on and off. This is assuming there is some load on the system. If it's two o'clock in the morning, um, it won't be but you basically want to get it to a system where they're all showing auto. There's no faults showing down here. So there's no, this one isn't sitting at red. And that they're, um, that it's not locking out. Now it does take a little while to do this. So it is, it is a case of about three or four minutes of it running before it decides it's in trouble and locks out. So this is quite a labour intensive, it's quite a time consuming process to do it. To help it along you can, if you want to, boost it temporarily with hand. So you can boost the pressure as, as it goes along because you're going to find when it first starts off, it, it starts off very low. So when you first set, switch this on, um, it's going to be on very, very low to begin with. 
So let's have a look at what it looks like when we do this. So I'm just going to do that. So here's its restart. Boost system pressure 2.6 bar, so it thinks it's okay, or it knows it's okay roughly. It's going to take a little while to reboot. There you go, it's falling, and you can see how number one is running, but she's running really, really low. Which is, and you can also see how these are currently flashing red. They're saying, uh oh, so they are restarting. But they'll get there. Very labour intensive just because you've got two systems, two brains trying to talk to each other. So look, what I'm going to do is reset the alarm there. Won't yet run hand. Mute alarm, reset alarm. It's powering up. Still won't run hand because it's just still boosting the others and still these are still so actually no sorry if you press the on button on them there we go so you press the on button to bring them back on there we go now she's starting to run I'm gonna go hand on these to bring the pressure back up might take auto because it's a Reset alarm again. You see how it's having so many panic attacks over different things because there's two different brains talking to each other. There we go, and then you need to press the green button, the on button again to give it its, uh, to actually get it back to run. So, starting to run now. Running auto, system pressure 2.5 bar. You can see how even from just a shutdown there of two seconds of me switching it on and switching it off again, you can see how much trouble it had restarting. Basically, we had to reset this. We had to switch these back on behind, and then as soon as this brain had worked it out, we needed to switch these on again. Now, we still don't know if this is gonna try and shut down. So we need four minutes-ish to make sure that the pumps are actually correctly operating. And what you mustn't do is you mustn't leave these in hand, because if you do, it'll just continuously run and overpressurize the system. So yeah, look, we're up to 2.7. I would assume it's working correctly because it's come up to its main working pressure. And we also find that these are um, these are modulating as they should be, off, off, on at quite a high rate. So let's wait and let's see. So it's running 2.7 bar, we want to see it, assuming there's no load, we want to see it shut down in a minute. Um, make sure it's actually going into a stable stationary state. So in short, reset there on and off usually because it just won't, it just, it can't cope with, <coughs> um, it can't cope with it when there's a power cut. Reset there, on at the pumps at the back, on at the pumps at the back down here, the on button, each one, wait, wait for stuff to start happening and then you'll probably need to press on again on the pumps at the back. Make sure you don't leave any of it in hand, make sure it's all in auto. There we are.